Origin Story by E. Viewing. This is true. My mother and my father met at the Greyhound bus station in the mid-80s in Chicago. My mother, all thick glass and effort puff, came west on the train when she was 19, lived in a friend's house and cared for her children, played tambourine in a Shaka Khan cover band. My father, all sleeveless and soft eye, ran away from home when he was 17 mimeographed communist newspapers, and drew comic books like this one for sale, one dollar. My mother bought one. Love is like a comic book. It's fragile, and the best we can do is protect it in whatever clumsy way we can. Plastic and cardboard, dark rooms and boxes. In this way, something never meant to last might find its way to another decade, another home, an attic, a basement, intact. Love is paper. And if my parents' love was a comic book, it never saw polyvinyl, never felt the backing. It was curled in a back pocket for a day at the park, lent to a friend, read under covers. Reread hanging upside down over the back of the couch. Memorized, mishandled, worn thin, staples rusted. A love like that doesn't last, but it has a good ending. Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. There is a place where the sidewalk ends and before the street begins. And there the grass grows soft and white. And there the sun burns crimson bright. And there the moon bird rests from its flight to cool in the peppermint wind. Let us leave this place where the smoke blows black and the dark street winds and bends. Past the pits where the asphalt flowers grow we shall walk with a walk that is measured and slow. And watch where the chalk white arrows go to the place where the sidewalk ends. Yes, we'll walk with a walk that is measured and slow. And we'll go where the chalk white arrows go. For children they mark, and the children they know the place where the sidewalk ends. There is nothing by Michael Bazet. There is nothing better than feeling the cold, soft earth of spring against souls grown thin and tender from months of dozing inside of woolen boots, released to feel the fine prick of winter grass and the frost, still asleep beneath the sun-warmed earth. We walk slowly, and when the animal rises from the hill not far away, it is as if the land has given birth to its own scrawny hunger. Pericardium by Joanna Klink. Am I not alone as I thought I was? As I thought the day was? The hour I walked into, morning, when I felt night fly from my chest where prospect had slackened and closed itself off, understanding, as I thought I did, that the ground would resist my legs and not let them break nor let them be released into air as my heart in its muscle might be released from the body that surrounds it. Like someone who, placing a hand on a shoulder's blade, felt a life move inside an hour and a day. Break from the day, the hour meant something more than weakness, more than fear, and flew forward into the depths of prospect. Your arms, where you'd been before me, waiting for me, the way the body has always been waiting for the heart to sense it is housed, it is needed, it will not be harmed. Meteor Shower by Clint Smith. I read somewhere that meteor showers are almost always named after the constellation from which they originate. It's funny, I think, how even the universe is telling us that we can never get too far from the place that created us. How there was always a streak of our past trailing closely behind us, like a smattering of obstinate memories. Even when we enter a new atmosphere, become subsumed in flames, turn to dust, lose ourselves in the wind, and scatter the surface of all that rests beneath us, we bring a part of where we are from to every place we go.
Common's Resurrection by Kevin Koval. Beloved, know how amped we was, the first time the culture rooted in Chicago stories and slang. Locales our own, on the bus to touch home. Hear the names of streets we knew, ran. A young man we'd seen off cottage, at the jam, heard on WHPK. He sounded like the city we loved that will never love us back. Sounded cold, like he had one. On wax for the whole country to hear. An international megaphone a dozen years after the message loud and clear, the children of Gwendolyn Brooks are rappers. His pops played ABA ball, moms a doctor of education, a Chicago son speaking what he, we knew. Andre Hatchett, Car Fair, Jewtown, Stony Isle, DJ Ferris, Leon's Barbecue, high schools we went to, fought with, played against, girls we hollered at. The greatest extended metaphor hip hop ever wrote, monuments for what was is here. When mad was tall and fat was cold. We love Twister, who rapped so quick we needed a translator. DA Smart, Fast Eddie, the Super Bowl Shuffle, a slew of graffiti writers who went to war with Mayor Daly, but Common put Chicago at the intersection of the culture, made Ice Cube an actor. Mike on vinyl, a ring you could hear in the sweet gums and sycamores, footprints in the sand at the lakeshore, a blueprint for many to come. While Eating a Pear by Billy Collins. After we've finished here, the world will continue its quiet turning, and the years will still transpire, but not without their numbers, and the days and the months will pass without the names of Norse and Roman gods. Time will go by the way it did before history, pure and unnoticed, a mystery that arose between the sun and moon before there was a word for dawn or noon or midnight before there were names for the earth's uncountable things, when fruit hung anonymously from scattered grove trees, light on one smooth green side, shadow on the other. After an Illness, Walking the Dog by Jane Kenyon. Wet things smell stronger, and I suppose his main regret is that he can sniff just one at a time. In a frenzy of delight, he runs way up the sandy road, scored by freshets after five days of rain. Every pebble gleams, every leaf. While I whistle, he halts abruptly and steps in a circle, swings his extravagant tail. Then he rolls and rubs his muzzle in a particular place while the drizzle falls without seas and Queen Anne's lace and goldenrod bend low. The top of the logging road stands open and light. Another day before hunting starts, we'll see how far it goes, leaving word first at home. The footing is ambiguous. Soaked and muddy, the dog drops, panting, and looks up with what amounts to a grin. It's so good to be uphill with him, nicely winded and looking down on the pond. A sound commences in my left ear, like the sound of the sea in a shell. A downward, pretentious drag comes with it. Time to head home. I wait until we're nearly on the main road to put her back on the leash. And he, the designated optimist, imagines to the end that he is free. <sighs> Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. I stay out too late. Got nothing in my brain. That's what people say. Mm -mm. That's what people say. Mm -mm. I go on too many dates, but I can't make them stay. At least that's what people say. Mm -mm. That's what people say, mm -mm. But I keep cruising, can't stop, won't stop moving. It's like I got this music in my mind saying it's gonna be all right. Cause the player's gonna play, 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 play. And the haters gonna hate, 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 hate. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. I shake it off. I shake it off. Heartbreaker's gonna break, 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 break. And the faker's gonna fake, 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 fake. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. I shake it off, shake it off. I'll never miss a beat. I'm lightning on my feet. And that's what they don't see. Mm -mm. That's what they don't see. Mm -mm. I'm dancing on my own, dancing on my own, 
I'll make the moves up as I go. The moves up as I go. And that's what they don't know. Mm -mm. That's what they don't know. Mm -mm. But I keep cruising. Can't stop, won't stop grooving. It's like I got this music in my mind saying it's going to be all right. Because the player's going to play, 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 play. And the hater's going to hate, 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 hate. Baby, I'm just going to shake, 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 shake. I shake it off. I shake it off. Heartbreaker's going to break, 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 break. And the faker's going to fake, 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 fake. Baby, I'm just going to shake, 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 shake. I shake it off. I shake it off. Hey, hey, hey. Just think. While you've been getting down and out about the liars and the dirty, dirty cheats in the world, you could have been getting down with to this sick beat. My ex-man brought his new girlfriend. She's like, oh my God. But I'm just going to shake it. And to the fella over there, with the hella good hair? Won't you come on over, baby? We can shake, 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 shake. Yeah, oh. Because the player's gonna play, 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 play. And the haters? Gonna hate, 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 hate. Haters gonna hate me. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. I shake it off. I shake it off. Heartbreaker's gonna break, 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 break. And the faker's gonna fake, 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 fake. The fakers, baby. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. I shake it off. I shake it off. American Sonnet from My Past and Future Assassin. Seven of the Ten Things by Terrence Hayes. Seven of the ten things I love in the face of James Baldwin concern the spiritual elasticity of his expressions. The sachet between left and right eyebrow, for example. The crease between his eyes like a tuning fork or furrow. Like a riverbed branching into tributaries, like lines of rapturous sentences searching for a period. The dimple in his chin narrows and expands like a pupil. Most of all, I love all of his eyes and those wrinkles, the feel and color of wet driftwood in the mud around those eyes. Mud is made of simple rain and earth, the same baptismal spills and hills of dirt James Baldwin is made of. Sonnet 18, Shall I Compare Thee to a Summer's Day by William Shakespeare. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day, thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot, the eye of heaven shines, and often it's his gold complexion dimmed, and every fair from fair some time declines, by chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest. Nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. Sorrow is Not My Name by Ross Gay, after Gwendolyn Brooks. No matter the pull toward brink, no matter the florid deep sleep awaits, there is time for everything. Look, just this morning a vulture nodded his red grizzled head at me, and I looked at him, admiring the sickle of his beak. Then the wind kicked up and... After arranging that good suit of feathers, he up and took off, just like that. And to boot, there are, on this planet alone, something like two million naturally occurring sweet things, some with names so generous as the kick the steel from my knees. Agave, persimmon, stickball, the purple okra I bought for two bucks at the market. Think of that. The long night, the skeleton in the mirror, the man behind me on the bus taking notes. Yeah. Yeah. But look, my niece is running through a field calling my name. My neighbor sings like an angel, and at the end of my block is a basketball court. I remember, my color is green. I'm spring. 
collapsed into the dunes on the east shore, swallowed into Milwaukee, possibly, or into the Calumet swampland, or still right up there in the UP somewhere. The lost city of Lake Michigan, logged off, siphoned, sunk, infrastructure, skeletal in the algae, not lost, dead, or no need to be found, many more will be founded, an arguing fate, sort of all American, like this lake itself, a spirit of the law, haunting the lakes, dare say, content.